Look, I was such an idiot tonight. Yep, you were. I keep thinking if tomorrow doesn't go well, I could have gone to juvie and not put things right with you, and I hate that. Hey, stop it. You're jumping ahead of yourself. No, what if I'm found guilty? Well, then we'll deal with it, if that happens. But you can't give up, Casey. I'm not giving up. I'm all yours, Casey Braxton, and I'll be with you in that courtroom tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I will be with you all night tonight. Really? Mm-hmm. We're going to forget all about your troubles. Oh, you are kidding. What? What? Oh, look at you guys all cosy again. It's so cute. What? Oh, the look on your face when you saw the cake. <laughs> 49? What were you thinking? Yeah, very funny. I try to get away with one tiny little... Lie? Lie. Yeah. <laughs> you're there to humiliate me in public. Oh, don't worry. Even though you're over the hill, you've still got me. Yeah, to push me down the other side. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that coming from where I think it's coming from? Look, you had to do this tonight, of all nights. The boys are just showing some love. Maybe they can show their love by going home. Hey, you know what? The boys are just showing a bit of support for Case. If you want to try and kick him out, be my guest. Have a go. Bye. Hey, 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 Rubes. Rubes is right. They're just trying to help in her own stupid way. I can't send him home. Not yet. Look, maybe you can go. Do you want to go? Are you crazy? Uh -huh. That's so sweet. Hey! Do you realise you can hear that racket in the next postcode? Really? We must be sleeping, eh? <laughs> Am I getting subtle in my old age? Not that I am old. No. Turn the music down. Come on, Palmer. This could be Casey's last night of freedom. Cut him some slack. Heath, it's late. Go on. Put him under detention, Mrs. P. What Casey needs before his trial tomorrow is a good night's sleep, not a party. Party? This is a party. Crack a point. We're wasting our time. <laughs> Good, yeah. Oh, just hang on a sec, will you? A sec. Ruby? Oh, my God. I thought you were at home. Well, it's Casey's last night before court. Look, so. we didn't know there was going to be a party on. It just kind of happened. Want to compromise now, eh? the night before his court date. Great. Oh, I'm sorry, Haley. this shouldn't be happening. Yeah. Another hour, right? Eh? Mother Superior here. Watch us, won't you, Ruby? Shut up, Pete. Oh, Ruby, wait over here. Look, just go and sort it out. Yep. Xavier, I'll be with you later. Let's go. Hey, down, mate. What were you going to do? Huh? Hey, 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 we don't want any trouble, boys, do we? Uh, okay, where's the sister from hell? <laughs> Thanks. Let's go, guys. Move along. Come on, Ruby. I'm taking you home now. No, but I want to stay here tonight. Hey, look, it's okay. All right, I gotta get some sleep anyway. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Where do you think he's gonna go? Yeah, we're okay. As long as he's prepared, got some sleep. Ready? Now, what do you need to remember when you're on the stand? Um, don't get flustered. Speak calmly, slowly. Good. Okay. Let's go. Where's mum? Is she coming? No, nah, mate, I don't think she is. Are you serious? I tried calling her, she's not answering. Don't worry about it, Case. It's a conviction, but given that she's first offence. Don't worry about her, you'll be fine. Who is she? Haley O'Connor. She's Casey's new defence lawyer. She's one of their hotshot defence protégés. So much for the Braxton's crying poor. How long do you think the magistrate will take to decide? Who knows? Are you okay? He used our relationship to humiliate me. I'm sorry. It's not like it's untrue and it might actually help Casey. 
Maar goed hoor. How are you holding up? I'm good. I'm good considering. Yeah, well you should be because your lawyer is awesome and Charlie thinks you actually have a shot at getting out of this. You're so good, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know, but I might actually get out of this one, eh? <laughs> Although it is undeniable that this investigation could have been handled with more propriety, I must base my verdict solely on the arguments of law and the evidence before me. As such, on the charge of destroying property by means of fire, I am satisfied beyond reasonable doubt that the accused, Casey Braxton, is guilty. In regards to sentencing, I note that this is a first offence and the character references of the accused were persuasive. However, arson is not a petty crime, and it seems a matter more of luck than good management that someone was not injured or killed. Consequently, I feel a message must be sent both to the accused and the company he keeps that such acts will not be tolerated. Casey Braxton, I sentence you to 30 days in juvenile detention.